What's going on, guys? Jones and Dogs here. Welcome back to the channel. All right, guys. Short story. Well, long story, but short story. I was in Walmart yesterday with the wifey. You know how it is in Walmart, man. You go in for one thing, you come out with a bunch of things, man. So long story short, man, I was in there, you know, grabbing some stuff up. And I uh, decided to take a little walk through. On the walk through. Yeah, yeah. On the walk through. On the walk through. Uh, I went through the uh, RC section and I found this little thing here, man. You guys know I like my little small flyers, man. I like my little small flyers. So I decided to pick this, this little dude up. It was like 20 bucks, man. It's the Voyage. Voyage Aeronautics. I know I never had one of these quadcopters, but that transmitter looks familiar. It looks more like the Propel. I've had a little Propel transmitter that looks like that. You know what I'm saying? So maybe they do some work with Propel. And I know Propel sells a lot of quads through Walmart as well. But I had a, I have a Propel quad that I got from my guy Brian TDR. It's a little Wolf style quad, and it has a transmitter like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, yeah, shout out to my boy B over there, TDR Drones, man. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, man. So, yeah, we just going to check this little dude out, man. This is the Voyage Aeronautics, the VA-2080 Ultra Compact Folding Micro Drone. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, it says it has altitude hold, I'm sure, because it says new training mode helps beginner pilots learn how to fly. I'm not sure about that special feature. New training mode helps beginner pilots learn how to fly. We'll, we'll see what that what that is. Six axis gyros, 360 stunt rows, folding arms, so it can fold. That's nice. I like my little pocket flyers, especially when I be able to take them to work and stuff like that. You guys know me, man. Three speeds, which is always nice to be able to change the rates and control on the side, which we can also see right here in the box. So that's pretty cool, man. Let's see. Rated ages eight plus, guys. Now, you guys typically know that I do my unboxes in the RC cave. You know what I'm saying? You know, it usually goes down in the RC cave, but there's not a lot that comes with this little guy. So, you know what I'm saying? There's not too much. Tells you about the voyage, you know what I'm saying? Which is cool about the Voyage Aeronautics. Voyage Aeronautics was created by a team of engineers passionate about the wonders of flight, okay? With more than 25 years of combined experience in building incredible custom drones, RC airplanes, and helicopters, we dreamed about a day where consumers could get our high quality, finely tuned products at an affordable price. That day has come, guys. Oh, that day has come. That's nice, man. That's a nice little message, man. That's pretty cool. That, you know, they're, they're, they're telling you a little bit about themselves, man. That's that's pretty cool. You know, so it tells you a little bit about the drone there on the back. So that's nice. So like I said, I usually do my unboxings in the RC cave. You know what I'm saying? But we're going to just go ahead and do this here. There's not too much more that comes with this guy. So we're just going to get this guy out the box here in three, two, one. All right, guys. So we got everything out of the box. Here's what you get. You get this nice little controller here. It's spring loaded, so it's altitude hold. Let's see. You got a couple bumper buttons there. Let's see the zoom in on there. You got a stunt button, speed button there. Let's see. A couple trim buttons there. Forward back trim, left and right trim, on and off switch. You know, yeah, pretty much that's it. The Voyage Aeronautics, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be, let's see, it's going to be a couple... AAA batteries in the back, it seems, with a little dastardly child protection screw. There we go. We have the drone here. I'm doing this guy with one hand, so you guys got to forgive me. I'm doing this with one hand. Uh, the drone is actually foldable, so you can fold this guy up. Looks like it might have a power switch here. Of course, I'm trying to turn it on, but it's not. there's no power to it. Oh, there we go. We got an LED in the back. LED in the back white LED in the rear so that's pretty good that's pretty good go ahead and turn the power switch off so wow has a goodie box right there so let me get the contents out of the goodie box so here's the contents of the goodie bag guys look like you have a charger here has some prop guards there looks like it's a um 
And here's the drone all folded up. I went ahead and folded it up for you guys. You can see it all folded up. And here is so a charger port there. So it looks like we, let me just, all right, look, it's like a pinhole charger there. So yeah, so we got a USB charger, pinhole charger. Looks like we got a Phillips screwdriver to get that safety screw out. Some propeller guards there, guys, which is nice. Check that out. Pretty cool. Instruction manual here for this V8 2080, guys. Oh, and some extra propellers. This is always nice as well. Contents of the bag there, or the box, the goodie box. And then we have our instructions on the V8 2080 here. Here we go. Bam. So let's get this thing on the charger for the you dig dig. You already know how we rock it, man. Your boy drawing and dogs. Let's get this boy on the charger and we'll get out for a quick fly. Let's do it. All right, guys. So we got this little Voyage Eric Nautics, the V8 2080, all charged up, all folded out, ready to go. I'm gonna power this little dude on. Got a red light blinking in the back. Got a white in the front, like I showed you on the unboxing. Let's go ahead and turn the transmitter on. Do up, down, binds us. Now it is a little bit windy out here, guys. It is a little bit windy. Let's see how we can calibrate it. Both joysticks down into the right corners will calibrate it. You see the lights flash, and we're gonna see if we can just take off. I'm not even sure about how we take off. Oh, this middle button right here, the middle black button here takes off. This little thing is tiny. There we go. First rate right here. A little breezy. Get over here. Get on over here. This is our first rate. So let's check out the yaw. There's our yaw. First rate yaw. There's our forward flight right there in the first rate. I like this little thing. Real nice and nimble little flyer. Here's forward flight, first rate. So let's increase the speed. Second speed, this thing flies pretty good. 20 bucks, little Walmart flyer, $20 holla. All right, so this is second rate here. And it's very nice for orientation with that bright white little spotlight up front. That's really nice that you got red in the rear. Let's check out the yaw, second rate yaw. Wind blowing it, get away from that tree there. Don't get, as the wind kicks up, it's a little breezy for this little thing. So there's our yaw, second rate yaw. All right, we're in third rate, the third speed. So this is gonna be hopefully our wind fighting rate because it's getting windy now. <laughs> it's getting a little dicey for the little dude there. This is a little zippy little guy too. So this is third rate four flight here. Flying with the wind. Flying directly into the wind in the third rate and is able to fight through it so tiny <laughs> nice there's our yaw third rate yaw so this doesn't seem like the yaw increases much in the rates it might increase just a little bit but not much let's try a flip wow. oh dang that, that flip was kind of aggressive so you got to press and hold the flip button you can't just tap it you got to press and hold little flips the flips are nice and snappy with this little guy for altitude hold and I like that look at that that's not that's nice and snappy on a little dude and it's got a nice little like green color to it like an olive green body shell on it let's get it all up in your finish bow, bow, bow. your boy Joe the dogs man yeah I like this little thing $20 holler man y'all run out to Walmart man run out to Walmart y'all tell them your boy drones and dogs sent you for that little $20 holler that they got in the aisle right now before they sell out. They're gonna be like, $20 holler, what's that? Man, you tell them that, man, I want that little V8 2080. I want that little V8 2080. Bow! Yeah, the, the flips are crispy on this little joker. And the uh, transmitter feels pretty good for a little one. It's not the little peanut style one that you're used to with like the, the the more comics little micro ones that came out in the beginning 
This one is actually a little larger and it feels pretty good. The sticks feel pretty good. And I'm quite surprised at how this thing is flying for altitude hold. It's flying pretty good. I'm gonna have to do a versus. This versus my um, my other little favorite little foldable flyer, my my JJRC, my H345, the JJ1. I think the JJ1 is quicker than this because it has no altitude hold. This has altitude hold, but this fly is great. It's really stable. Nice little pocket joker, man. I like this. The only downfall I could say, and which is with a lot of these little micros, is embedded battery. You have to charge it with a little quadcopter on a charger. So pretty much when that battery tuckers out, you, you, you either gonna have to try to get up inside there and get that battery out, or just chuck this guy away when you're done. When this battery uh, completely dies out, but you should get you should get a few flights out of this guy, maybe a hundred or so flights before that battery completely disperses. If you treat the battery right. And it's quiet because those are direct driven props on the motors. There's no gears or nothing. So you notice this guy is really quiet. Like a little mosquito, he's really quiet. And because those are direct drive props. And that's also why it flies so nimble and fast is because of that too as well. Direct drive props also, or direct drive motors, I should say, perform and are a lot more efficient than the, the, the brush geared motors I mean these are brushed as well but they're not brushed to the gears they're just directly driven on the motor when the brush gear motors you get a lot of more winding noise and you get a lot of more susceptible they're more susceptible to of uh, uh, what you want to say uh, they're more they're more prone to breaking I should say this thing is flying great $20 man, Walmart, man. Sometimes you can find a gym. Sometimes you can walk down the RC aisle and find a gym. And I think I did. This is, this is a good one. Wow. I like this. I'm not hating. Walmart, I'm not hating. I'm not hating at all. This is nice. For a little one. I'm surprised how little this thing is. It's flying great, man. Nice and long flight time on it. Yo. Nice and zippy. Look at that. That little thing is zippy, man. Yo. Nice funnels. Let me get it on over here. The wind is blowing it. Give y'all a little funnel action. Look at the funnels. Nice funnels on it. Or is it your boy Jones the Dog hitting you guys with the bangers? You. I'm not sure if it's, that light is flashed off and on. I think it might be. might be a LVC because that light is kind of flashing a lot now it was flashing a little bit in the beginning but I think we are LVC I'm gonna hit this black button in the middle which I think is gonna take off the land button and see if I can land it and hand catch this guy help me on chop my fingers off my fingers off my fingers off, my -f -f -fingers off. Do it. Bah, I dropped it <laughs> at least it hit the grass this little thing is awesome man the Voyager the V8 2080 man, go to Walmart, pick you one up, $20 holler, your boy Jones dog, tell him I sent you, yeah man, I'm out, Deuce, yeah. bah, bah, bah.